no better way to talk about how things have changed and like the online dating scene uh, than to actually go offline to a bar in New York City on a Friday night. Do you use apps to date? I use Hinge. Tinder. Okay, uh, Cupid. I've been on Cupid for a few years. Chase okay. and Coffee needs bagel. No, not coffee. I've been on it. I think the bar right now is littered full of people on online dates. The modern dating game, where you're a click or a tap away from love. Or something like it. Apps that let you swipe through your options. People are pixels, where the formula for love is coded into your smartphone, filtered by location, age, gender. What are you into? What's your religion? True love may never change, but the way we find it has evolved. And here's the thing about love now. Mobile has changed everything. No, no. I think people almost go into bars now not looking to meet someone because that's what their phone's for. Remember when you used to ask a friend to set you up? Hinge is an app that browses the network of your Facebook friends and comes up with a match. Happen connects you to people you've crossed paths with. Older players, like OkCupid and Match.com, you used to check those from a computer. They're now on your phone and Tinder, which uses geolocation to link up nearby people who are both interested. Swipe right if you're interested, swipe left if you're not. If you both swipe right, it's a match. There are more options than ever. Sean Rad founded Tinder. He's managed to gamify finding a date. We used to have these worlds where there was online and then there was offline. You know, something like yeah. this kind of provides like a really interesting medium that you guys are very much capitalizing on, right? Online and offline, the distinction exists when I'm behind a computer, which is usually, usually at a fixed location, but with our phones, it's with us everywhere we go. Part of your algorithm that makes Tinder so successful is this idea of like taking out the rejection factor. There's so much we can do with Tinder and the information that we pick up from you. And, you know, we can make some really good guesses onto who we think that you might be interested in. Then you get, like, good morning, emoji, kissy face, penis, oh like... Oh, my God! <laughs> do you think that technology changes things for the better or changes things for the worse? I think definitely for the worse. Why? But you don't feel like meeting anybody in the bar because you feel like you have like 50 matches on your phone. Right. And it stops you from meeting people when you go out.